Do feminists want weak men for single modern women? I mean, it's a good question, isn't it? Even with raising standards, oh, oh my God. A lot of women still want a man. But it does seem like a lot of feminists would prefer men be weak. And for these weakened men to be somehow strong for these modern women that don't need them. Good luck. Okay, so I've had a couple of people ask this question, so I will just respond to it quickly. Tell us about the feminists in the bio, guys. Why do you think this is a red flag? I have my assumption, but I would like to hear your opinion. Red heart, red heart, yeah. And she has a very good response. So there's a couple of things here. One of them is a personal opinion that I have. I don't believe that men can be feminists. I agree. You can agree with women having rights and having the ability to just have a job. Yeah, just regular things. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Never have. But I don't think men can be feminists. I think that's a bit weird. And I think those dudes, I think they're a bit sus, in my opinion. I think at best, they can be feminist allies. And the reason I say this is that they don't have lived experience of exactly being a woman. And so they can't claim themselves to be feminist. Exactly. They can live a life which they believe supports women in their fight for equality. Exactly. As I agree, women should fight for their own equality. Not in this current state of feminism where it's more like a going to kick you in your nuts, men. Men ain't shit. Men are trash. Blah. That sort of monstrous modern state of feminism. And, and, and emptiness. But no, women should have rights. Human beings should be able to just be as human beings. But I don't believe they can label themselves as feminist. The second thing is um, there's a a real problem in society with us congratulating men for doing the bare minimum and just because a guy isn't a misogynist doesn't mean that he can somehow claim to be better than other men exactly oh my god egg oh thank you yes! thank you lovely woman thank you there are a lot of men on the internet that do this and i'm surprised more women don't see it just because he's like oh i'm not a misogynist it doesn't mean he's a good man it doesn't mean he cares about women but i understand i don't need to kiss women's butts to make my points as a man like women don't need to kiss men's butts to make their points you see a lot of men say i'm not a misogynist i'm a male feminist shut up bitch yeah a lot of projecting for what? So that's something that I also personally think. The other thing as well is if we're thinking about what being a feminist means really just means that you expect and want for women to be treated as equals in society, in all areas of society. Makes sense. Um, if you if you took the analogy of whether you are a racist or not, and as a white person, if the first thing I put in my bio was, I am not a racist, well, first of all, I don't think I should get any applause for the fact that I'm not a racist, but also it's a bit of a, to me, it's a bit of a warning that I'm either protesting too much over my insistence that I'm not what you think I am. But it also just really seems to do a self-congratulatory kind of elevating me to some kind of position over other people. And also in some ways like diminishing the experience of you know, the other in whatever situation that is, whether that's to do with misogyny or to do with race. So that's my take on it. I know that there are women who think that men can call themselves feminists. That's just my personal opinion. Well spoken, very logical opinion. It makes sense. I can only agree. I find it 100% ironic that I have received more disrespect from women on this platform than I've ever received from men in my entire life, just because of the kind of content that I make. These nuts. Guys, it's cold, but I feel hot. I need someone to air out my coochie. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, my coochie, my coochie. Ooh, my coochie. <laughs> there are certain things that are just hardwired into humans to ensure the survival of our species. So the same way that men have a natural proclivity to go for the curvier women because it speaks to the primal part of your brain that says, oh, she's fertile and she can carry my children. Women see men with money and resources and power and it speaks to the primal part of their brain that says, oh, he has the ability to protect and provide for me and the offspring. 
Now, superficial people, they're going to get stuck right there. Superficial men are going to get stuck on looks, and superficial women are going to get stuck on the money. Now, quality women, they're still going to look at your money. But it's not so much about how much money you make. It's because your career choices, that tells us something about who you are as a man. Your career choices are going to tell me about your character. A man that has his own business or he has several businesses, that tells me that you're driven. That tells me that you're a go-getter, right? That tells me that you're determined. That tells me that you're not a quitter. Men that work in healthcare, that tells me that you probably have some compassion. You're probably understanding. If you work in the parts of healthcare that are female dominated, that tells me that you probably have a, a pretty good understanding of women. And it also tells me that you probably have pretty good people skills. If you're a man that works in management, that tells me that you probably have good leadership skills, that you have good decision making skills. Your age and the position that you work also tells me something about you. A man that's 20 years old and in a management position tells me that he's probably more driven. He's career oriented, he's goal oriented. That tells me that he probably has a plan for himself, that he's trying to build something. Versus a man who might be 35 years old and is flipping burgers at McDonald's. That tells me that he probably doesn't give a damn about life. A man's financial capabilities will always be factored in to the woman's decision-making process and whether or not to choose him as a potential mate. But money is not the only thing that quality women look at. All of those things that I listed in the video about what women need men to bring to the table are just as important, if not more, <laughs> than the money. Only the strong survive. Why are your genes the ones that she should carry?